Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another exciting course. And in this course we are going to clone or try at least to clone this website udemy.com. Now this is quite a popular website for tutorials and they offer courses both free and paid. So you may actually want to check it out. Now the reason um, I want to clone this or teach you how to clone this is not really that we can make a copy and become a competitor of this website, no. What really the point is, is to teach you so many concepts that this kind of website has. That way you can go ahead and build your own websites that uh, will do whatever it is that you want. So keep in mind, we're just trying to learn the concepts here and not build exactly this. So in that uh, vein, we're going to get a template for a completely different uh, website. We would get a free template from the internet and then try to convert it to a dynamic website. So the website we'll create will look nothing like this one. However, it will function pretty much the same. So what I mean by that is that we're going to have, just like this website, we're going to have instructors, we're going to have students, and then we're going to have paid uh, videos, and then we're going to have free videos. That's really the main idea and users can log in and sign up just like here okay and of course we can add things like this banner here no problem and then we can list the courses that we're going to be offering just like this and also have categories and the like instructors pretty much yeah and of course the dashboard for the main admin and the instructors and the student okay so uh, let's look at, uh, let's explore this website a little bit so that we can see what's going on here. So like if you have a, you want to watch one of these and you click on one of these courses, you're going to be presented with this page here that describes the amount uh, you have to pay. These are one-time payments you pay and then you can watch the course. And of course it tells, tells you what this course includes here. So we're going to make all this. We'll have this add to cart or buy now. And then here we'll have all this, uh, what you will learn in this course. And then chapters for the courses from intro, setup, just like uh, you see here. Of course, these are added by the instructor, uh, depending on the kind of course they are giving. But we will have a page like this. And then of course, we will have a rating system as well. So people can rate uh, the course just like uh, what we are seeing here. Student feedback, no problem. And we'll have comments. Oh, these are ratings. Yes, yes, they look like comments. Same thing pretty much with a rating there that was given. All right, pretty cool. So this is what we are going to create. Mm -hmm. And when you, um, if you search for free courses, you can see how the uh, the courses, the courses reading page looks like, and we're going to recreate that as well as best we can. And then this thing of, of course, has a cart because there's selling going on here. We're going to add that as well. And of course, we will have a payment system where you can use a credit card. Uh, we will use a third party website to have that functionality. So we're going to add PayPal and we're going to add, uh, something like Stripe, so we can use um, credit cards. Yes, we can accept credit cards as well. Okay, very good. So let me just list uh, the things that we will, what you will learn in more detail. So after this thing, you're going to learn how to create dynamic websites in PHP from scratch, because we're not going to use any, um, we're not going to use any framework. We just want to build this from zero. We'll type everything ourselves. It's more, it's more fun that way, yeah. I promise I will create uh, other tutorials with uh, frameworks in future so that you get the basics. The reason I don't use frameworks quite a lot is because frameworks change quite often. So you find that uh, whatever concepts I teach in that particular series or course are going to be outdated in a year or so which may not be so good. So this is why I like to build things from scratch so that uh, you can still use the knowledge 10 years from now that you learn here. And of course you learn object-oriented PHP. 
I like to use OOP in my coding because it's just the better way to do things. I've heard people say you don't need to learn OOP as long as you can program in procedural, that's okay. But trust me, those people are just lazy. OOP is absolutely essential. If you just want to take your career in programming to the next level, you just have to learn OOP, uh, period. That's, you just have to learn it. So we're going to do things in OOP, but don't worry if uh, you find OOP intimidating. I will take you through the whole process. You will learn a sign up and login system. Of course, you create sign up and login. We have to. And we'll learn how to manage our users, which is edit, delete, ban, whatever that is. And access. How much does a user see depending on who they are? Of course, uh, a student can see everything just like an instructor can see what the admin can see. So we have to limit user access and I'll show you my own method that I employ to do that. And then we'll have the admin dashboard, of course, where you can edit these things. And then we'll look at some very basic uh, security measures you can put in to try and avoid things like SQL injection, uh, forgery of a form, etc., etc. And then we'll make a messaging system because uh, students need to communicate to their uh, course creator or instructor uh, if they need to. So we will have a messaging system. We'll have a rating system as well. And of course, we'll have video uploading, which is nice. So we we'll see how we can collect information like thumbnails and uh, look at the, the video duration and add it there and some other metadata. Okay, so content management, overall, you're going to see how to manage your content, how when things are uploaded, where do they go, how do we know what's what, etc. And then we'll have Ajax going on here with JSON. So you're going to learn, we're going to be using a lot of JSON uh, because the things we're going to be designing are very dynamic. For example, what I want to show here is Let's see here. So for example, this course in particular has these items here, but a different course will have a different number of these items and the content in here is very different. Some of these are videos, some of them are quizzes and all that. So all that has to fit in the database. And sometimes the best way to do that is to use JSON instead of the normal rows that we add in the database. Like here, this is a video, but this is a document. It doesn't look like a video, but yeah. Uh, yes, so we're going to use quite a bit of JSON and JSON is a must when you're doing things like messaging systems and all that, because we, the chat requires it to be live. So we're going to be using Ajax a lot and using JSON to transfer that data. And of course, you're going to know how to uh, create, read, update, and delete from a MySQL database. We'll build a card system, and of course, we'll add payment system. Uh, this is a weird spelling for payment. So we'll add a payment system using, that's uh, PayPal and uh, Stripe. And then of course, this whole thing will be done in what is known as MVC uh, format. So this is a design pattern for our website. So MV MVC design pattern, which is model view controller. That's what we're going to use because this is the most popular and the most convenient way to create a website. All right, so I hope you're excited and the requirements for you to take this course as follows. You need to know HTML at least. This is like the minimum requirement. So if you know some HTML, it doesn't need to be, uh, you don't need to be a hardcore HTML practitioner, but as long as you know the basics. I do have a basic HTML course on my uh, YouTube channel, so you can go to playlists and check that out. And it would help if you know a little bit of JavaScript, but not required. You just need to, it'll be an advantage. Also, advantage if you know some basic PHP. But these two are not really required because we're going to go through every step. But some HTML should be essential at least. All right. So very, very good. 
so far so good i will hope to see you continue this uh playlist if you're interested in this all right so see you in the next video